Hi guys, this is Sylvia and I've got my friend Huey with me and I wonder if any of you got teddy bears? Um, well, I'm going to tell you a story today about some real bears and if you've seen them in the zoo, they're a bit awesome, they're very tall and they're very very strong and if you get from, confronted by a bear, I don't think you stand a chance. Now this is a story that happened, well it's about 900 well, 900 years before Jesus came on the scene and um, it was um, a prophet and his name was Elijah and um, yeah he he came on the scene when a, a man um, get on with it well it's a, it was a man he, he his name was Elijah and um, He'd done all sorts of things. God had caused him to do all sorts of things. He'd, he'd um, called down fire from heaven at Mount Carmel and uh, that took it out of him and uh, he pleaded with God that he would die after that. And God said, okay, I'll, I'll get someone to take over from you. And it was Eli Elijah, yeah, Elijah. Um, so it's a bit confusing. One's Elijah, and one's Elijah. But um, anyway, he uh, he uh, and went up to him um, in a field and threw his cloak over him, and um, th that was to say, "Would you follow me?" Um, which he did. He followed Elijah, and he was taught by Elijah and um it was it was a place it was a place called damascus which was near it was in the holy land bethlehem and jerusalem and um he, he wanted to, to train up elijah elisha uh, before he died how did he die well actually he didn't die um one day um, they were walking along and Elijah seemed to, Elijah seemed to know that, well and Elijah did, they seemed to know it because they listened to what God was, was telling them and uh, a chariot of fire came along and uh, with, with horses of fire and took Elijah up and uh, just left Elijah on his own. Um, but he'd asked for a double anointing from Elijah and left his cloak and what he did was he, he hit the Jordan River with his cloak and he said, uh, where is the God of Elijah? And the waters parted and he walked across the Jordan. That was just awesome what God did there. Um, <clears throat> but after that, he was going up to um, Bethel and on the way, um, he was actually bored, um, Elijah, Elijah was. And on the way, there were these 40 youths came along and they were jeering him and saying, oh, Baldy, oh, Baldy. Um, and Eli Elijah, Elijah wasn't too happy about this. So he called down a curse from heaven. What's a curse? Well, it's not a blessing. A blessing, we know what a blessing is, but a curse is something horrible. And with that, two bears came out of the woods and we're told that it mauled these 40 ewes. So I think the lesson of this story is that you just, you just can't be rude to people. It's just, don't let, don't join a crowd that are going to be rude. And that's just such a, a story. So remember, you know, don't be rude to people because um, it's not very nice. You wouldn't like it. And uh, um, these youths didn't like it, did they? Say a prayer. Okay. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this story. And thank you, Lord, that it tells us that uh, <clears throat> all our actions have consequences. And uh, we just thank you for these stories written um, in the Bible. Help us to to be um, patient with people and not be rude to them. Amen. Well, that was quite a story, wasn't it? Hi 
guys, this is Still Bit Busy Art, and this is the creation for today, and it's from the story of a lion. Sha. This is how we make it. Yes, yeah, so what I've done is I've fold this in half, like that. Cut down here. And then fold this over. Like that. Then we need to pop that one out like that and get some double sided sticky tape which I can put on one side of the triangle. There. Daisy. Let me get the speech bubble and line this corner up with the the fold so it doesn't bend it over like that. And that works okay. And then we've got these ones. Now just keep it away from the speech bubble a bit like so and then I folded these ends over on the dotted lines put some double sided sticky tape on so that one goes like that and this one that one goes like that and then we fold it over to get the natural fold So fold over here and then bend it over to get that natural fold. And there we are. Oopsie daisy. Da da! I'm sure you had great fun making that. Um, see you next time. God bless. Mm -hmm.